Quite a powerful stone, as you should well know, boy. For instance, I can easily forge something like this. A chimera. Go get them, my beast! Rip them to pieces! Get a good taste. Oh, Rose. Don't look away. You need to see what happens when you try to bring a human back to life. When you cross into God's territory or whatever the hell it is. Mechanical limbs. Your auto mail. I see. Now I understand you, Elf. You are the Full Metal! The Full Metal Alchemist! Not that way, Ed. Turn left! What are you doing, Al? Just look. What the... Who are you? me to do with the... Uh, Where'd she go? Please, stop him. I beg you. What the hell was that? We weren't hallucinating, were we? No. It was the real thing. I've got the proof right here in my hand. What exactly are you, anyway? Are you even human? Or something? <clears throat> and who are you? Stay back! You poor thing. All these bruises and scars. Don't worry, I'll make it all better. It away. Why do I have the feeling this is getting worse, Al? 
tornado and a battalion came through. It's far worse than what was reported to headquarters. We'd better quicken our pace and find Lieutenant Hatton. What's the matter, Al? You forget how to walk in a straight line? Stop bumping into me! Sorry. These spooky places give me the creeps. <laughs> I can't believe you got the heebie-jeebies, Al. You're a suit of armor. Look at the Lieutenant walking all bravely up there, leading the way, and she's just a girl. <laughs> Whoa, 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 put that down, Lieutenant! I didn't mean to insult you in any way, I swear! I just meant because you're From Rissenbul. Oh. So, you're the one who did this to the village, aren't you? Were you trying to do the same thing to Rissenbul, too? What is your purpose for all of this? What was that transmutation circle for? I had a feeling we'd meet again someday. Damn it, pal. You got a bad habit of being cryptic. Uh, no, wait! No circles. Impressive young alchemist. Interesting. You have the same eyes. <laughs> You should have realized you have no right to stop me. Crowley! That's you, isn't it? I knew it! There could be no mistaking you! Don't you recognize me? It's me! It's Arlen! I can't believe this! Crowley? No. <gasps> The Arlen I know is not a doddering old fool like you. What do you mean? You're talking nonsense. How many years do you think it's been? How can you still look so young? What happened to you? again. He just melted away. You're safe now, Lieutenant Havoc. So how are you faring after all of that? You all right? Does it look like I'm all right? Do me a favor and tell the Colonel to double my salary, will you? I mean, for God's sake. How come no one ever tells me how dangerous these missions are gonna be? <laughs> What's up with these guys? Did the whole town get up on the wrong side of the bed? 
It looks like they're guarding the ruins. Keep in mind, this is an important relic to them. They might think we're grave robbers or something. <sighs> okay, listen, we're good, clean-cut boys and girls, you got it? Now, if you'll just let us through... I said, we're not here to loot your crappy old graves, all right? That didn't work. Hold on. Something's not quite right here. You don't think there could be that many of them? I don't know. That moan is starting to ring a bell. show up wherever we go. We'd better retreat for now. <laughs> Seriously, what are a bunch of golems doing in this place? You're asking the wrong guy! <laughs> hey, tell your friends, they gotta run. The streets are about to be flooded with real nasty creatures and... with beady eyes. <laughs> Right, but now we've got the whole thing figured out, yeah, don't we? Great. Tell us these things in advance next time, Grandpa. What now? I'm not sure. <laughs> Edward Elric, how can one struggle against a lumbering enemy whose only strength is in its number? Behold, hideous deformations! Sample the marriage of alchemy and physical strength passed down the Armstrong line for generations. Heart might, heart erudite! That wasn't too much, was it? It's so hard holding yourself back in battle when you're fighting brainless drudge. Colonel. My sincerest apologies, Lieutenant. We did mean to arrive a little earlier. Jeez, don't you guys know how to come onto a scene? Without making a scene, you're so attention starved. Right. You knew I'd have to show my face sometime. So how have things been going, Full Metal? Looks like this was a close call. Guess that means you owe me one. I don't owe you anything. These golems couldn't get an inch on... And now, you owe me two. Uh, if you're my backup, then back me up! <laughs> That's funny. But I'm not here for backup, Full Metal. You fought bravely enough. Now you can leave it in the hands of the state. She's dead. That can't be. It, it can't. No. Gramps? Elma. 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 Elma, wake up, please! Oh. Stay with me! 
Arlen. Elma! But I don't understand. How could you have been that monster? Arlen, please. The stone. You must destroy it. A stone? What is this stone? What do you mean? It's a great big crimson stone. Please, Arlen. If you destroy it, he'll stop this. A crimson stone? Okay, Elma, I understand. I'll find it. I promise. Uh -huh. Please, you have to stop him next. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, Elma! Goodbye, Arlie. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't go! Elma, no! Please! Oh, Elma! Oh, Elma, no!
You left that circle on the platform, the last shred of decency you had as a human being. Crowley. What's this? An earthquake? It's bad, that's what it is. We gotta get out, fast! <laughs> Mr. Glossner, what are you doing? We have to run! Just go, boys. I think I'll stay here a while. What are you, insane? If you stay here, you'll be crushed along with the rest of these ruins. That's fine by me. You boys are still young, so you won't understand it. But I'm going to share my fate with Crowley and Elma. My last mission in life has been finished. I've got no reason to live any longer. Crowley, Elma, and me, we were always together. Through everything. I think it's only fitting I take my rest with them, too. Last mission? Always together? My ass! None of that crap gives you a reason to die here! It doesn't matter. I've made up my mind. Thanks, Mr. Full Metal Alchemist, for getting me here. All right, that's it. I want to sleep well tonight, and I'm not going to have you on my conscience. Hey, Al. Way ahead of you. Hey! hey. Well, what are you doing? You better stop squirming, oh. or else I'll make you ride right inside. You can't do this. All right, let's run. Put me down. I want to stay. I have to. So it ends, a familiar story in these parts. One man's obsession to bring back from the dead the one he loves the most. A tragic end indeed. Ed, what are you thinking right now? Probably the same thing that you're thinking, Al. We're finally on our way to Central now. Right, the library. Mm -hmm. I nearly forgot. That was quite the detour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it would be very disingenuous of me not to say well done, Edward Elric. Excellent job. Yeah, well, that's the great thing about working hard. You make everybody's lives easier, and still nobody shows up to wave you goodbye. Come now, you know everyone at East Headquarters is busy. By the way, I thought you'd be interested to know that Mr. Glossner character you spent time with has returned to Siam Sid. What? He went back? Apparently the man is adamant that he's going to spend the rest of his life there. Even though civilians aren't allowed on the premises, because there's still so much the state wants to look into. Hmm. Are you thinking about Crowley again? I was. I mean, maybe we're no different than he was. If we'd taken one wrong step, all of this could have happened to us. We won't do that. <clears throat> I'm telling you right now, that's one wrong step we're never going to take. We'd never sacrifice life just for our own selfish games to get an arm or a body that we want. Yeah. Sacrificing somebody's entire life only because you want to be happy? That can never be called equivalent exchange. So we'll just have to keep looking for the real answer out there. What is it, Major? Oh, nothing to worry about. It just seems that you've grown tremendously through this incident, Edward Elric. Huh? I've grown? You mean you really think I got taller? 